Good afternoon, everybody. Good evening, Tom. Good afternoon. Sorry, I, I think I'm lost in time right now. I'm sorry. It's good evening. Good evening. How are you? No problem. I'm excellent. But at night, when I return to the house, I was there. Sorry, Jonathan. I live in the same place. Sorry, Jonathan. I can't hear you uh, very well. You want to? Can you speak a little bit louder? Okay. I'm sorry. Um, That's okay. Uh, I have a good day, but at night when I return to my house, mm -hmm. traffic jam. Was there? Mm. I live in the family of the Boulevard of Mexico, a lot of cars. I can imagine. Uh, difficult, oh. difficult when I, when I can return to my house. Where do you work? I'm a taxi driver. Where? I'm a I'm taxi driver. Taxi driver. Oh, okay, okay. Wow, so you have to go all over the place. Uh, okay. Mm. Salvador. I want to try Salvador. Great. Oh, my it's goodness. It's crazy. Yeah. Wow, yeah. So you really have to suffer uh, with, the, with the rush hour, lots of traffic. Yeah, yeah, the morning around. Wow, I'm sorry to hear that. It's a yeah. Mm-hmm. And at night, I um, started the traffic jam for or five years. Mm-hmm. Wow, okay. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, that, you know, things are not working out so well uh, with the traffic. Uh, yeah, okay. unfortunately, it's something we have to live with, right? Um, especially, like, now I think it's uh, the the worst months are coming up, like um, because November and December are really tough months. Yeah, for the buy people buying all supermarkets, yeah. at restaurant, and yeah. approach the offers and at night with um, make have a the family or friends or um. Um, workers, I think the, the people like to share the time with them. Ah, do they? Oh, no, makes things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's um, it's gonna be tough, but uh, well, you know, at least the good thing, Jonathan, is that at least there's a you have a job, right? Okay. I guess that's, that's, that's the, the good thing, right? Because Thanks, I mean, teacher. many people don't have a job, right? So we got to okay. be grateful for what we do have, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. yeah. All right, guys. Welcome. Welcome, everybody, to um, the class. Before I forget, um, because I might forget, <laughs> I'm really bad at remembering things. Um, so. I may forget, so let me tell you before, um, before we start class. You guys know that we uh, we normally have classes from Monday to Thursday, right? Okay, so that's the normal, um, yeah. the normal schedule, right? From Monday to Thursday. But, um, well, this, so that means that this week we're gonna be going, obviously this is our last day, right? Tomorrow we don't have classes. Okay, all right, is that clear for everybody? Yes. Tomorrow? Yeah. Can you repeat the advice, please? Because I didn't understand very well. Oh yeah, okay. No, I was say, what I was saying is that normally our, our normal schedule goes from Monday to Thursday, right? That's, so we have classes on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, right? Four days a week, okay? So that, that's the normal schedule, okay? Uh, that means that today is our last day of this week. Monday, sorry, uh, sorry. 
Friday, no class. So tomorrow, no class at all, okay? Uh, what you can do is use that time to work on the platform, right? That's, so that's kind of like the idea as well for you to, um, if you don't have very much time, you can on, on Friday work on the platform, okay? Okay. All right, so okay. I, I hope everybody is already has already started in the platform. That's really important. Remember the whole objective of this course is for us to be able to finish well with at least 80% in the platform. So if you don't finish in the, the platform, you won't be able to go to the next level, okay? Now, okay. that's for okay. like, that's the normal week, Monday to Thursday. But the thing is that next week, you know that there is a national holiday. And that national holiday is on Monday. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. Monday. Okay, so yeah. Monday, no classes, okay? okay. Because we yeah. can't have class on a holiday, right? Means the Corp won't let us have class on a, on a, on a holiday, okay? It's, it's, so we can't have it. And besides you guys have to rest, you know, just, you know, have some time with your family, et cetera, et cetera. So Monday, no class. But we're gonna continue having four days of class during the next week. What's gonna happen is that instead of instead of um, going from Monday to Thursday, we're gonna go from Tuesday to Friday. Okay. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. So only for next week, we're gonna go from Tuesday to Friday. Got it? Yeah, got it. Got it. Okay. okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect. All right, so um, so that's 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 settled. I just wanted to mention that because I, I might forget. I'm really bad sometimes at, at remembering things, so I might forget to tell you. So the next class, our next class is going to be on Tuesday. So today is our last last day of the week, and then our next class on Tuesday. Okay, I'll remind. I'll I'll try to remember to say that at the at the end of the class. Um, and if, if I don't remember, please remind me. Okay, somebody say, oh, teacher, remember next week. And then I'll remember to tell everybody because there might be some people that um, join us during the rest of the, in the middle of the class and they won't be able to hear it, right? So um, please, if somebody can, if I don't remember, maybe somebody can remind me to say, teacher, remember about next week. And then I will, I will say the announcement, okay? All right, guys. Okay. Um, so, how are you feeling about section one? We have finished section section one. We have done. We looked at the passives with um, the the using by and without by. So, any questions? No, it was clear for me. No. Now's the moment to ask. Hello, teacher. No. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm I'm happy to see that there are more people joining us. I know that some people have been sick. Some people have had internet connection problems. Um, the good thing is that today hasn't been raining. At least where where I live, it hasn't been raining. So that may uh, be something favorable for everybody. Okay, well guys, um, today what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be learning about how to contrast two tenses, okay, of the past, okay? So um, I'm going to start the class by sharing the whiteboard. Okay. Everybody can see the whiteboard? Yes, teacher. I can see. Yeah? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, I can see. All right, good. So we are going to talk, first of all, we're going to be 
comparing the simple, oh, sorry, I'm going to change the color so that it stands out a little bit more. We're going to be looking at the simple past versus the past, oops, the past continuous. So we're going to look at those two structures, um, but not just look at the, the structure itself. It's also about how we use it. That's what's most important about here, how we use it. So um, to be able to understand it, let me write a timeline here. Okay, here we go. Here's our timeline. So over here, I'm going to write that this is my, um, this is the, the present. So over here we have the present. So this is my present, right? This, this line represents the present. So this is the present. Everything that has the, everything that happens over here is obviously going to be the past, right? Or actually, this is the past. So everything over here is the past. Let me just change this to make it stand out. So over here is the present, everything is here, the present here is the past, okay? Now, what happens is that when we have um, the, when we have the, um, the, the, the past, we can have many different actions in the past, okay? The most common one that we know is when we are going to be, um, we have an action over here in the past, okay? Now, what do we, what do we call this, this structure over here? What, what structure do we use when we're, we're talking about the past? Normally, what, what do we, what do we use? Past, what do we call, what do the we class. Subject, class, verb, and, okay. and, and, and class. Um, good, good, good. Now, but what is the name of the tense that we're going to be using? Simple past. Exactly. Very good. Very, very good. Okay, so we're going to be using the simple past. Okay, so this structure here, or, or better said, this, this section over here, whatever happened, happened in the simple past. So for example, I could say, um, yesterday I watched a movie after the class, okay? Which is actually not true because <laughs> I was very, very tired after the class, but, uh, but let's just imagine, okay? Um, so I say, after the class, I watched a movie. Okay, so watched is in the simple past. Then I went to sleep, okay, for example, right? Um, or I can say, for example, um, today I woke up at five in the morning, example, okay? So all of those activities that happened in the past 
and that are very close to the present, we would use it in the simple past. So far so good? Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Or I can also make a negative, right? I can also make a negative by saying, uh, for example, um, yesterday after class, I was so tired that I wanted to watch a movie, but I couldn't. Okay, so negative, right? So I wanted to see a movie, but I couldn't. Okay, so that's all in the simple past. Okay? However, sometimes what happens is that we have a action that is a little bit longer, okay? Um, let me make this over here. So here's an action that started before this action here. And the difference between this action and this one is that this one is actually going to continue for a period of time, okay? So instead of just boom, it happened right here, it continued for a period of time. Okay, over here. Got it? So this action here, basically, it, do, it didn't finish. It continued for a period of time. Does that make sense? Yeah. 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 So far, so good, guys? You're following me? Yes, teacher. Yeah? Yes. Yes, yeah. teacher. Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. Because what happens there is that this action is different from this action because this action ha um, happens for a long period of time. So that's the difference between this one and this one. This one it happens for maybe many minutes, many, um, or many, yeah, it could, it, it could happen for many seconds, but mostly will happen for many minutes many hours, many days even, okay? Whereas this one is something that is a little bit of shorter activity and it's finished, it's completed. And normally what happens is that this action is in progress when this one interrupts it, okay? So here I am doing blah, 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 whatever activity here. And then boom, it sh it's normally interrupted by this activity, okay? So that's what normally happens, it's interrupted. And I'm gonna give you some sentence to give you an idea of what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. Okay, so for example, we can say, I was uh, eating dinner when you called me. Okay, so what? Which sentence is in the simple past? Which sentences are in the simple past, guys? Or better said, sorry, no, no, what sentence? What, uh, what tense is in, or what verb is in the simple past? Call? Called. Exactly. Called on me. Great. Let me just change that back again. There you go. Oh, 
Okay, so right here we have called, which is in the simple past, right? Okay, so this action of calling, when you call me, it's usually a short action, right? You call me in that moment, um, and it probably the call, um, the, the actual part of calling doesn't take very long. It's probably going to take a few seconds, right? The, 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 the phone is going to ring a few times. That moment there is going to be taken only a few seconds. Probably it's going to take 10 seconds, 15 seconds at most, right? So it's a very short activity, okay? But if you notice, there is another one that is a long activity. Which one is that? Which sent, which part of here is the long activity? Eating. Yeah, exactly. Was eating dinner. That action of eating dinner is a longer activity compared to this one, right? Because normally you eat dinner for, you know, a long time. Like it's, it's you're going to eat it for probably minimum, I would say 10, 15 minutes. Like if you're a really, really fast eater, you would eat for like around 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Some people even take 30 minutes or even an hour to eat. So this one's gonna be a very long activity. So in other words, this activity right here started, let's say, let's say that um, it started at six o'clock in the evening. So it started at six o'clock, I kind of was eating, 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 and it's now 6.25. Okay, it's 6.25. I haven't finished eating because I'm a slow eater. Um, I like to take my time. So it's 6. So I started at 6. It's 6.20, um, let's say. 6.20. And I'm still not finished eating. Okay. So in that moment, boom, at 6.20, you call me. Okay. Now, what happens is that I pick up the phone and I start talking to you. So I have interrupted the first activity of eating. So this activity you called me interrupts my first activity of eating. Does that make sense? Hola, hija, ¿dónde está? Do you guys understand that? Does that make sense? Uh -huh. yes. yes or no? No? Yes, maybe. Yes, teacher, I understand. Yeah. Uh, yes, teacher. I understand. Okay, excellent. Now, this structure here, that is what we call, what is the name? What do you teacher. think? Yeah? So, in this case, the first sentences always uh, we have to, to say it in, in past. No, 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 not necessarily. I'll, I'll talk about that in a moment. I'll talk about that. Okay, so, but right now, what is the name of the tense? Of this tense? Hero. Mm -hmm. There is a, it's not actually a gerund, but yeah, it, there is a verb in the ing form, you're right. Subject. Okay. But what is the name of the tense? Just like this one. This one is the simple Plus tense. Continue. Plus continuous. Exactly. Exactly. This is what we call the task, continuous. Okay? So we use the past continuous to talk about the first action that started in the past and continues for a period of time and is usually, not all the time, but usually it's interrupted by... Um, by the simple past. Okay? Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Yes, teacher. All right, good. Now, uh, what is the past continuous? What is the structure of the past continuous? We already know this, the, the structure of the simple past, right? Normally with the simple past, you only add ed if it's a regular verb, or you can add um, a, or if it's an irregular verb, then you have to have different, uh, different paths. Um, or if it's, we're talking about the, the negative, you use didn't at the beginning, 
Okay, so for example, you would say didn't call, right? Um, so that we already know that. But what about the past continuous? How do we form the past continuous? Who remembers or who knows? Angie. First, I think the subject. Yes, good. Okay. So we're gonna have the subject. I'm just gonna abbreviate it because of space. What what goes next? Uh, was where? Good. Was or were, right? Depending on the subject. What goes next? Uh, ver uh, with ing. Good. The verb. Ing. I'm going to put it this way. Verb ing. Next. Next, we would probably have the complement if needed. Okay, only if it's needed. And Abrila to Mama. Um, all right, there we go. It's I'm okay. sorry. It's okay. Um, okay, let's see. So that it's not so thick. Hmm. Okay, so this is a structure here so that it's a little bit easier for you to see. So that's the structure of the past continuous, okay, right here. So the subject in this case would be over here, right? I, then we have was, right here, was. Then we have the verb eat, plus ing, eating. And then we have the complement, dinner, right? Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Yeah? yeah? I'm gonna give you another example. So we have here, she fell and broke her leg while she was playing basketball. Okay. Sounds good. So she fell and broke her leg while she was playing basketball. Now, this action over here, let me put it over here. Okay, so this action here also has two actions that happened in the past, and one action started before the other action. Which one was the first action, chronologically speaking? Simple past. Which is in the sentence, which action, which verb here is the first chronological action? Oh. She was playing. Was playing. Exactly, she was playing. Mm -hmm. oh. mm -hmm. Let's make it a little thicker so you can see it better. Okay. She was playing basketball, right? right? So, so there she is playing basketball, having a wonderful time. And then what happens? After that, what happens? And then Brooke. 
She fell. She fell and broke. broke her leg. And broke her leg, exactly. So boom, you know, she's playing basketball, you know, she's having a fun time. It's probably she's probably been being playing basketball for I don't know 30 minutes, one hour, and then boom, she falls, right? Now, mm -hmm. falling is a very short activity. It's not gonna take her very long to fall. She's probably gonna be falling in like one one second or less. And she's also gonna break her leg in about you know one second or something like that. So this is a very short activity compared to this. Obviously, this action also stops this action. It interrupts the plane, right? Because she can't continue playing if she falls and breaks her leg, right? So this interrupts the action. Does that make sense? So far, so good? Gus, tell me, so far, so good, or am I confusing you? It's okay, teacher. Okay, good. Very good. You had a question? No. No, we were there. No? Okay. All right. Now, um, something to take into account. Oops. Sorry. Something to take into account is that, well, somebody asked me this question. They asked me, do we always put the past continuous at the beginning? And the answer, as you can see, is no. Because if you notice here, it's at the beginning. Oops, sorry, I made a mistake. Here, it's at the beginning. This one is at the beginning. I was, I was eating dinner. This is over here, it's at the beginning. But if you notice in this one, the past continuous is at the end. She was playing basketball. So really, it doesn't matter. Like you can put the past continuous at the beginning or you can put it at the, at the end, right? But if you notice, there's a difference between these two sentences. If you notice, we're using different words to, to contrast what happens, okay? And notice that over here, we're using the word when, and over here, we're using the word while. Exactly. Over here, whoops. And over here, we're using the word while. Mm -hmm. So okay, take into consideration that when is usually, but not all the time, used when we are introducing the simple past. Okay, so notice over here, when goes before the simple past called. And while is used before the past continuous was plain. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah? Questions? No? Okay. We can use the both in the two sentences. Yeah. Um, no, you mean like both of them together in the same sentence? For example, I was airing dinner uh, you call me? No. No. Okay. No, in that case, that's why I was saying when usually goes before a simple past. And while usually goes before a present, sorry, uh, um, a past continuous. Okay. Okay. What Thank you can you. do is change and you can say, for example, you called me while I was eating dinner. You called me when I was while I was eating dinner. That's possible. Okay. okay. Then you would have to put the second one would have to put the word the word while. Okay. Now, like I said, usually we use when with the simple past, but there is it is possible to say um, you called me when I was eating dinner. Okay, that's also possible. Although it's more common to use the word while. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. I'm going to give you one more sentence just so that to make sure that we all are on the same page and you understand it. Okay. Sorry. We were studying at the university when we got married. Okay. Now over here, this one, again, we're using the simple past and the past continuous. Which one was a sh shorter activity? Which of the two was shorter? Study. Which one was a short activity or shorter? Shorter, I think, when good married. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, very good. The shorter activity of these two would be um, getting married, right? Okay. You get married. Um, we get married. Uh, it's like, I mean, yes, there's a, there's a ceremony and, you know, it's probably going to be taking a few uh, minutes to get married, but compared to studying at the university, that's, you know, that's very short, right? So the other one would be a longer activity, right? Okay, so in the, lo in the longer activity, we're studying at the university, okay? So studying at the university, we're talking about years, right? So definitely goth is a shorter it's a shorter activity than studying at the university. Okay, like I said, yes, get married is is um, you know it involves um, many activities. So yeah, it's going to be like it you know many minutes or even like an hour um, to get married. But uh, when you compare it to this activity, then definitely this one's shorter. Okay, so that's why this one. Sorry, that's why this one is going to be used um, with the a simple past, and this one would be used with the past continuous. Notice over here we're using not was but were because the subject is we in this one. Yeah, and notice again. Notice again the um, the use of when. Okay, right before the simple past. How does that sound, guys? Do we understand this or not? It's not really clear. So I can use the simple past even when uh, the activity take me more than one hour? The simple past, yeah, because between the two things, between the two things, this one's a shorter activity. Yeah. Okay. In Spanish, we do this, right? We would say, "Juan, eh, Juan nosotros nos no, pero, sorry, sorry, sorry. Eh, nosotros estábamos estudiando, right? Estábamos estudiando la universidad cuando nos casamos." Yes. You wouldn't say cuando nos estábamos casando. Es cierto. Right? 
Okay, so this right. one is a shorter activity. Okay, so, and however, however, like this sentence, if you notice in this sentence, it doesn't really interrupt. Getting married doesn't really necessarily interrupt um, studying at the university. There are many people that, you know, uh, get married and they continue studying at the university. So that was, this is not necessarily interrupts and finishes the first activity. It just means that the first activity is in progress, right? So it's a long activity and then boom, this one happens. Okay, but most of the time it interrupts it, but not all the time. Like just like this one has proven to you that not necessarily the second activity interrupts the first one. Does that make sense for everybody? Yes, yeah? Yeah. Right. Okay, guys. So that is our explanation of the simple past versus the past continuous. Now, why do we need to know this? Like, what, what's the benefit of knowing this information? The benefit is simply that when we are telling a story, now we're able to talk about two actions of the past. One action that was in progress when another action happened. And that second action could, or it could have interrupted, or maybe it may not have interrupted. Okay? So what we're gonna do right now, I'm actually gonna stop sharing. Okay? You guys want to take a picture? Go ahead right now, because I'm going to stop sharing in a moment. I mean, it's going to be in the in the video. You say you can see it later, but in case you want to see it right now, you can go ahead and take a picture. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna stop it now. And what's gonna happen, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna ask you, is we're gonna be working in small groups, okay? Just like we did yesterday, I'm gonna be assigning you a small group. And what I want you to do is, I want you to think about your last vacation. Okay? Now, I know that it probably feels like a long time ago since you went on vacation. <laughs> You know, it's, you know, with this all this um, uh, pandemic, you know, we probably had many, many plans for 2020 uh, travel and everything, and we couldn't do it. But think about your last vacation, and I want you to think about all the activities that you did. And the main event of the story is going to be used in the simple past. So the main events, and then that you can also talk about what happened before that. Um, for example, we you can say. Um, you know, something like we had been, we had been driving, or I, or um, my husband had been driving uh, for nine hours when we we had to stop at a at a at a hotel to sleep for a bit, something like that. Okay, does that make sense for you guys? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay, okay. okay, teacher. Okay, good. So I'm going to right now, I'm going to get you to the next one. There are 10 of you. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go to the next one. Teacher. Yeah. Yes? I can't listen. We can hear you. You can't hear me? There's a no. sound. Hmm. Hmm. Everybody close to the mic. 
Yeah, I can hear the sound too. But even if like if, if I mute myself, I'm gonna mute myself. Can you still hear the sound? Is that better? Can you guys hear me better? Yeah, yeah it's no, better. Yeah. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do right now is I'm going to get you guys to work in, um, like I said, in the, your pairs, and you're going to be sharing with your partner. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to get you, I'm going to open right now the breakout rooms. Uh, please. Oh, wait a second. You know what? I think I can. I can. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to get you guys to work uh, for about mm, eight minutes, something like that, and tell your partner, try to use as much as possible the, the simple pass and, and the, um, and the pass continuous. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to open all the rooms down. Hi, hi guys. Are you able to go the instructions to the to the exercise? Do we understand what to do? Um, I understand that we're gonna make a one things that contains simple pass and continuous pass. Mm -hmm. Simple pass and the pass and the pass continuous, correct. Yeah, so you're gonna tell a story. Try to use as much simple pass and pass continuous as possible. Right? Okay. Okay. Then, any questions? No. Okay. All right. So go ahead. Um, if you have any questions, just you can ask me, uh, and I'll come back and help you. Okay. It's blue. It's in the case of mine. Todo. All right, guys, so go ahead and, and talk. Talk about your last vacation. Pretend that I'm not here. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna speak and so no right. Right, just speaking. Mm -hmm. just okay. Speaking. Yeah, that's right. But we have to use like uh, when you use while and that, or um, we can only talk? Uh, you're going to have to use when and while, yes. Um, and you also have to talk. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I'll come back and help you guys if you need anything. I'll come back. In the meantime, I'm going to go and help the other groups, okay? Hi, Claudia. 
Hello, teacher. And what, my lunch. What happened to your partner? I don't know, Lisette was here, but maybe she can't hear me. And after that, he left the, the room. Okay, I uh, just affirmed you a partner. Okay. Okay. Hello. Okay. Hello, Lisa. <laughs> Hi, Claudia. How are you? Fine, thanks. And you? I'm fine, thanks. So, um, I don't know, maybe you can hear me. What? Um you left the, the rope maybe but yeah I don't I don't know what happened with my internet. Oh yeah and I thought I thought and that, I, okay. Okay. I thought, I thought that, that you can hear me maybe no I don't know what, what happened but 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 I left the 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 conversation. I don't know what what Zoom uh, put out me oh. to the meeting. I don't know what happened. <laughs> okay. So do you girls understand what you're going to be doing? We talk about the simple past and past continuous. Yes, but um, you have to contrast those two, right? And talk about your last vacation. Um, so that okay. will be the topic, and then you, using that topic, you can use the simple past and the past continuous. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I'll go ahead and help the other classmates. Okay. okay. Uh, if, if I thirst, for example, the action is continuous, don't finish. Mm -hmm. In the simple past, the action, you need the action and finish. You don't continue to, to do the, the verb or the action. Once mm -hmm. part is full, the action started in the past, but never finished. You, 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 uh, usted siempre sigue haciendo la acción. O sea, la empezó en el pasado, yeah. pero continúa. Mm -hmm. yeah. por, eso, por eso el verbo termina en ing, le agrega ing. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And, um, Next, um, we were studying on the universe, university yeah. when we got married. Yeah, yeah, you started in the past university, but you, uh -huh. you always study. You never ending. Yeah. You started the university, but yeah. you, you use a simple past. For example, the action, yeah, is interrupt. The, the action when you started in the class. I don't know if it's okay, uh, Jessica. <laughs> and what about you, Rebe? Can you give us uh, some, some samples about the past progressive and simple past? Uh, well, I just arrived here, <laughs> but while well, you were talking about work in a call center, I were working in a call center uh, about six months. Yeah, uh, I was working that in a in a Spanish account, and you're right, the salary in call centers is very very good. <laughs> I think the difference between uh, the Spanish account and the English account in my call center was two two thousand dollars. Yes, two thousand. What difference? It's very good when when you have the opportunity to to improve your English. You have to work in this. Where is that? <laughs> 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 Never heard of that. <laughs> Why? <laughs> where, where, where was it that? Where were you working, really? And Indico, is in Escalon. 
Oh, okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So there are, there are two types of accounts there. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Indigo, you say? Mm -hmm. Indigo. Oh, interesting. Okay. <laughs> All right. So there, I just, I was curious about that. All right. So do we, do you understand what you have to be doing? Yes. Okay. Uh, say some examples like your your example uh -huh. using past progressive and simple past. Right. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Go ahead and, and continue. I'll, I'll, so, I'm going to have it open for about one more minute and I'll we'll come back uh, to the main room. Okay. So continue, continue, pretend I'm not here. Okay. <laughs> well, a few years ago, I was working in a call center, but, it, but this call center was bilingual mm -hmm. while I studied at the university. To think at the same time. Yes. I had a responsibility Marcella, at the time. Remember, okay. while we use with the present, but that's right, the past continuous. So while I was. I had to use when. Uh, I have to use when. No, no, it would, it's correct when you said while is fine, but okay. it, you, have to, uh, you have to use the past continuous because you said while I it's better use past progressive uh, first and then simple past. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, thank you. Yeah. Hi, teacher. Hi, everyone. Okay, so I think I have everybody here back again. Okay, guys, so um, incredible. <laughs> but our class is already over. The time is up. Um, so I hope you had the chance there to work with your classmates and practice with the class and the class continuous. Um, because the idea with this is not just to know how to write it on paper, but it's actually about how to use it in real life, right? So I hope you have the chance of doing that. And we'll continue working a little bit of that um, next class, okay? Uh, in fact, next class is going to be on, when's our next class? Um, a spice when's our next class going to be class? Today? Uh, no, Monday. Tuesday. 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 We're going to have Monday. class on Tuesday. Tuesday. Monday is a holiday. Don't forget that, okay? So we'll see each other on Tuesday, all right? Okay. Okay, okay guys. Um, so please work this weekend on the platform, especially because we're going to have a long weekend. You have Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, right? And we still have a little bit, well, Monday and then Tuesday, part of Tuesday. So we have like five days to work on the platform. So please finish section one and we'll register section two okay all right guys okay. take care see you next week and enjoy your vacation or your holiday okay thanks. all right <laughs> bye thanks teacher bye. good night bye good night. bye everybody bye